Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing our project Wikipedia document classification. It will include different techniques to classify a document in categories like politics, science, culture, books, and other categories mentioned here. I'll describe how can we use LDA for this purpose. After that, Anvesh will describe the techniques like TF-IDF, word to vec doc to vec etc. We have used Wiki, Wiki 10 plus dataset for all the experiments. You can get it from the mentioned link. Dataset has two files. First is this tag file which contains all tags or categories associated with a particular document. It is an XML file mapping document IDs to corresponding tags. Second file contains text around uh, 20k different documents in HTML format. We converted it to plain text for classification. So let us discuss our first approach that is how can we classify documents using LDA. As we know LDA works really well for classifying documents in different topics and there are many libraries available for this. We use GenSim's implementation of LDA. You can read about it and how to use it on the mentioned link. During learning phase, we just provide it all the documents in a zip format and it learns all the topics. Each topic is represented by words with associated probabilities as shown in the example. For testing, we just provide it the text to classify and it returns the topic and probabilities for the document to belong to the topic. Now as we can see, LDA will return just the topic numbers and not categories like politics, science, etc. So we need a way to map each topic to some category. There are two possible approaches that we try. First is use the words and topic as a query and find the most relevant document from the training data to that query on TF-IDF basis. We can map the topic to the tag of that particular document. Second solution can be to represent each document as a topic vector for every topic find the most similar document in this topic space and map the topic to, to the tag of that document. These are the implementation steps for the first approach. We divided the data in training and testing. Then we learned the LDA model over 300 different topics. Example topic written by LDA and query formulated using the topic is shown in point number 3. Example mapping to of topic to best document on TF-IDF basis is shown in point number 4. Now using doc to tag mapping from tag data.xml file and mapping created in above step we created topic to tag mapping as shown. Then we tested the test data. Here we have shown the topics written by LDA for a particular document and combined tags for these topics. These are the actual target tags for the document. Even if we match one of them we say document is correctly classified. Accuracy is very high using this approach. There are two problems with this approach. Chances of getting good accuracy is very high even if we are doing anything wrong because of high probability of getting a single match. There is a possibility that the top match returned by TF-IDF is not the best match for that topic. Now we'll discuss the second approach. We found out that only top 25 tags represent majority of the documents. So we eliminated the rest and left with 19k documents. This time we used only 25 topics in LDA instead of 300. Then we represented each document as topic vector as shown in step 4. Map the topic to tag by finding the best match document based on topic similarity. We kept only one tag per document, one tag per topic by manually looking at the words in each topic and selected the best match. Then we performed the testing in similar way as in previous approach. Accuracy achieved was a bit lesser but not bad. There are there was an issue with this approach also. Tags like Wikipedia and Wiki are hard to link with topic words. So we modified our categories to keep only meaningful tags. And we were left with only 17k documents by doing this. In this approach also there was an issue that categories like web and internet are quite similar. So in a way we can keep all the related categories as they represent uh, the same topics. By following this method accuracy was dropped to 80%. We can say that second approach that is representing a document in topic space is a bit better then TF-IDF matching because chances of getting false good accuracy is very less. Now Anvish will explain other approaches that we can use for uh, document classification. 
Hello everyone. I will talk about vector models we used for document classification. Basically these models will create a document to vector mapping and then these vectors will be passed on to the classifier to get results. First if TF IDF vectors. The weighted schemes we chose are as mentioned. These vectors could be as long as the entire vocabulary. So we only took 500 most rarest diverse words as features. It takes 5 minutes to build the entire term document matrix. However, note that the vectors are relative in nature, which means vector generation of a test document would affect the vectors of all documents. Therefore, even to generate vectors for one new unseen document, the entire algorithm needs to be ran again, including all documents. Next approach we see is Doc2Vec. We use Doc2Vec in a distributed, distributed memory more, uh, algorithm mode to overcome bag of words weakness. For about 20,000 document collection, it takes 2 hours to build a 4GB model which stores the document to vector mapping. It's also a relative vector arrangement for that is for one test document the entire algorithm of 2 hours needs to be ran again, including all documents. In other words, previous vectors become useless when vector generation are done for the new documents. Next approach we do is word to vec word to vec is a vector embedding which gives a vector a word to vector mapping. We have a pre-trained word to vec model trained on English news corpus. We didn't do stemming or case folding as the original word to vec model was trained that way. In a document, we remove stop words took important words, took their vectors and averaged them all to generate the document vector. It takes a lot of time comparatively, for example 5 hours for 20,000 documents, but generates all absolute vectors. That is, given a new document, its vector is independent of other vectors. Hence, vector generation for one testing, testing document will be much faster comparatively. Coming to classifier results and comparison, for test and train, we randomly divide 5000 documents into features, uh, into test documents and rest around 20,000 into training. Assertion was made that every category in testing at least occurs once in training. To compare different models, no shifting was done again. Note that each document in training has multiple categories. Therefore, for each category, we build a different independent classifier which predicts whether the given document has the respective category or not. Also, the vector lengths can be from 100 to 1000 length. Therefore, we went, uh, we went with SK lens implementation of SVM with stochastic gradient design training as they are very very fast comparatively. And here is the accuracy. Note that our data is quite imbalanced, that is the green line max class represents the accuracy when all vectors in testing are assigned the maximum occurring label from training. As evident it is, its value is almost always above 80%. The topic distribution vectors generated from LDA are as bad as max class assignment. Hence they overlap in this figure when applied to the classifier. However, LDA training might be the fastest of all. It's difficult to compare Doc2Vec and TFIDF, but Doc2Vec performs better than Word2Vec. It's also faster than Word2Vec when it comes to generating 20,000 vectors. Word2Vec didn't perform so good and also took quite a time for vector generation of all documents. The only advantage, as I said before, is its feature extraction of one document doesn't affect others. Hence, less time for generation vector generation of one test document. TF-IDF heavily depends on the number of feature words we consider. In this experiment, we took 500 words, but by increasing the size, accuracy may increase but will definitely take more time and space to store too. LDA performs good if we look at the accuracy, but we can't guarantee good accuracy as always as there can be error in manually choosing best tags for topics. But it runs very fast, takes hardly 10 minutes to learn topics and less than a second to classify a new document. Thank you.